And now your WZDX Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Emily Owen. Well, we saw showers and a few thunderstorms move through earlier today, and it looks like things haven't slowed down. Notice back off to the west in portions of Mississippi, they're dealing with a tornado warning right now set to expire right around 10 o'clock. So I'll continue to monitor this, and of course, if it heads in our direction, I'll bring you the latest. Now, there is a tornado watch off to our south. It does not include any portion of the Tennessee Valley, uh, just off to our south and western portion of uh, the state. Now, temperatures right now still pretty mild out there. We're sitting at 60. 67 in Huntsville, 68 in Arab and Coleman, 68 degrees in Florence as well. And off to our eastern side, notice they're warmer and that's uh, typically unusual. We typically see the eastern side a little bit cooler at nighttime, but notice for Payne and Scottsboro sitting at 73 degrees right now. And I'm expecting temperatures to drop into the mid 60s for the overnight tonight. And of course, showers and a few thunderstorms will continue to persist, but uh, it is going to be rather warm out there for tonight night and will continue to stay warm throughout the day tomorrow. We could see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms move through early tomorrow morning, but by the time we get into the late morning hour tomorrow, the sun will actually start to come out and we're expected to see a partly sunny sky for the day. High temperature is going to be warm once again for tomorrow. Now Tuesday, the Storm Prediction Center does have the entire Tennessee Valley under a slight risk to see a few strong to severe thunderstorms, and that's all thanks to a cold front associated with a low pressure system currently sitting over Oklahoma and Texas. That's expected to head in our direction as we head towards Tuesday. So here's what our threats are looking like. I'm expecting heavy rainfall to be our main concern that could lead to some localized flooding issues. Large hail and damaging winds are also going to come excuse me, also going to be a concern. Uh, but notice the tornado threat is relatively low, but this does not mean that an isolated tornado or two could be completely ruled out. So here's what the future cast is looking like. Notice right around midnight, still continuing to see a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. This is 3 a.m. Monday morning. Could hear a few rums of thunder as you're sleeping. And notice by one o'clock, though, we still could continue to see a few isolated showers out there. Sun will come out, clouds will start to break a little, and it does look like by Tuesday, that's when the bulk of that rain is going to be headed through. And it looks like the day on Tuesday is actually going to be a uh, complete washout. Good news is by the time we get into the weekend, things will start to quieten down. Seven day forecast looks like this. Notice cooler air will arrive Wednesday and Thursday thanks to that cold front, and then it does look like once we get into uh, the weekend, things will start to warm up and we'll see plenty of sunshine. Sydney. All right, Emily, I'm always glad to see that the temperatures come right back up as we get towards the end of the week. Absolutely.